Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3 with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. All right, everybody. Um, today, I want to build some new things, craft some new things from forestry and see what you guys... Well, I, I got some packages that came in the mail. Like, I got a new table and I kind of want to put that thing together. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead. I want to build some stuff and things with you guys here first before I take the time to go put that new table together. And I'm really happy about it. I'll see if I can make a picture of that thing for you guys and share it on Twitter. Um, let's go ahead and let's craft some stuff and things up from Forestry today. Um, an alviary is something I want to build in another episode. It'll solve some problems for us. But today, guys, let's build some stuff and things and let's hit the e key all right so we can build a bottler we can build a carpenter which i already do have a centrifuge fermenter i want to work on building some of these things with you guys like let's see what all we can get done okay um i want to see what all we can build let's go ahead let's head over here to where all our resources are and just kind of leave the bees to do their own thing. I am going to need a power source for everything. And we do have things we could use like a peat fired engine, biogas, a clockwork, electrical converts EU to RF. A bio generator can generate EU from biomass or ethanol. But I'm not sure how we get biomass or ethanol. So we'll have to work on stuff and things like that and see how that thing works. Um, a catalog that lists all available trade station trades. Huh. I wonder what that's all about. Here's the trade station. That thing is made with like a iron, electron, iron electron tubes. If you look at that, that's made with the thermionic fabricator. That's something we haven't made yet. So let's go ahead. Let's craft all this stuff and things up and see what we need. So some things that I already have crafted before, guys, is I have crafted up a uh, centrifuge. We have crafted up a carpenter and a squeezer. I'm going to make an additional one of each of these things with all of you today. So we should have some bronze. As you guys can see, one, uh, not a whole lot of it. Um, let's go ahead. Let's grab ourselves a stack of tin. Let's grab ourselves a stack of copper. And let's see if we can do this together like this. And can it work like this or do I have to? Yes. Ha ha. Awesome sauce. That works for me. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's put all this tin that in there. Put that inside of there. And one piece of copper. We'll go ahead and put that thing back in there like so. And let's clear this table of the sticks that are in here. And let's see what we can craft up here for today. Let's start with the bottler, okay? This thing is made with a sturdy casing, some cans, okay? Now, the cans, those things are made with 310. And we get, whoops, I clicked out of that thing. These things are made with 310, and you get a total of 12. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get all three of those. We're going to go ahead and do one, two, three. All right, we got 12 of those. Um, I'm not sure what this bottler does. We need four pieces of glass and a sturdy casing. That is eight bronze. All right, let's go ahead and get eight of those. Let's go ahead and get this going. Now, everything is going to require power, so we want to be able to create our own power station for everything with forestry. I am tempted to use something different, so we'll see what happens with that. Now, I need some glass. Let's see if we can spot the glass. It's somewhere inside of one of these things. <laughs> It's somewhere along the lines in here. Did you guys see the glass? I see clear glass. Um, a mob masher and all that, but I'm not seeing the glass. Ha ha! We got the glass. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's craft this thing up. The bottler. Alright, here we go. We'll have to take a look and see what that's all about. A carpenter. Now this is three bronze, a sturdy casing, and some extra glass. So we need a total of eight plus six. Eight plus six. That would equal 14. So we're going to go ahead and pull 14 of those out. 
Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Bada bang, bada boom. Let's go ahead and build a carpenter. There we go. So now we got a carpenter and we got a uh, bottler. All right, let's go ahead and let's set those things off to the side. We need a centrifuge. Now that's just copper, a sturdy casing, and some glass. So let's go ahead and let's get a sturdy casing. I love having resources on hand. This is nice. This is why I got. This is why I got. I've been busy, guys. Off camera, I have been super busy making sure that I had all the resources for making this stuff and things. Now, so what do we got now? The carpenter requires six. No, we made the carpenter, right? We made the carpenter. Yeah, we're doing the centrifuge. Six pieces of car copper. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's do the centrifuge. There we go. We got the centrifuge. We can do a fermenter. So sorry about that, guys. That's my deep freezer. It'll be here tomorrow. All right. Now, let's get back to this. We were making the... We got the centrifuge. We're making the fermenter. This thing requires bronze gears. To make the bronze gears, that's bronze and basic gear. That's some cobblestone and sticks. Well, we got sticks. Let's get some cobblestone. Let's see here. Cobblestone. Some sticks and some bronze. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's go to that thing again. The fermenter. The basic gears, we need four of these. One, two, three, four. And we're going to take these. We're going to put them in the center. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And please don't worry about our villager over here. He's doing quite fine. I thought we put enough in there. He's nice and safe, guys. He's nice and safe. All right, uh, the fermenter, right? Yes, a sturdy casing uh, and some stained glass. We don't have stained glass. Ooh. Uh, a sturdy casing and stained glass. We can go, t let's go take a nap and I'll grab some dye out of this thing over here. Um, should we? Should we worry about our bees? Should we worry about them? Yes! Finally! I got another one. Okay, let's leave that do it to do its thing. Let's grab some dye out of here. Let's go ahead with the orange tulips. All right. It doesn't matter which ones we got, so long as we got some orange stained glass from the looks of things, or any kind of glass from that matter. So we'll get ahead with this. All right. So we got this. The uh, fermenter. Boom. Wait, is that what we're making? Yes, we got the fermenter. Okay, we got to make the moistener. That's copper gears. How do you make those? That's just made with copper. So we need four more gears. Let's go ahead. Let's make those. One, two, three, four. And those need to be made with copper. So let's go ahead. Let's grab a stack of this. Let's turn those into copper. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bada bang, bada boom. Oh, wait a second, we're missing a gear. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay. Um, which one are we on? We got, let's see here. We got the fermenter. We're on the moistener, right? Yes. The fifth machine. A sturdy casing. That's easy. Let's go ahead. Let's make that thing up right now. Bada bang, bada boom. Like so. And the moistener is this. All right. There's our fifth thing. 
Now, let's see what else we can do here. So we got all the stuff and things so far. Let's go ahead. We got to make a squeezer because we got the moistener. This thing is made with tin, a sturdy casing. This is easy. All right, let's grab 610. Let's go ahead and make a sturdy casing. And we'll take a look at all this stuff and things too. So let's go ahead, let's do the uh, squeezer. Is that what we're on? Yes. Bada bang, bada boom. All right, we got the squeezer. Uh, the still for redstone. Nice. Okay. And a sturdy casing. And the still just bottom. All right, we got the still. <laughs> um, a rainmaker. This is tin gears. So, ooh, a hardened casing. Okay, so inside our carpenter, we need to be able to put water inside of it. And so, um, I need to give it power, and I should have a bucket on me. Yes. Our extra carpenter that we have right here, we're going to go ahead, we're going to give this thing some extra power. Um, can I stand anywhere over here for this? Ugh. Okay. Let's set this one right here. Let's give it some water. We got to give it a recipe. Because I'm not sure exactly how much water it's going to take. Now we have to make the, uh, we're making the rainmaker. This thing is with a hardened casing. So we need to make a sturdy casing and bring four diamonds. Okay. So the hardened casing, that thing is made. Four diamonds, sturdy casing. Four diamonds. We'll just chill up over here because the other one has seeds in it. We'll go one, two, three, four. We're going to set these right here so it has the recipe. We're going to put this right here. And we're going to put that right there. And I guess it needs more water. Okay, so let's give it more water. It's not showing the recipe just yet. And there it goes. Now it's making the... Uh, I got, I got the recipe for the hard encasing. Cool. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the ingredients that we have down here and it's going to use this recipe right here and it's going to craft it. There we go. Now that we got that, it used all the water that was inside of here and it made this right here. Nice. Okay. So we have one for seed oil and we have one for water. Now that we have our hard encasing, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at this again. It requires 10 gears, which we could just use iron and tin. So let's go ahead and let's use iron instead this time. We're going to grab four iron. Let's grab ourselves a stack of tin. Let's put our four iron here in the middle. Let's go ahead and put that tin away for right now. And let's see what we need. We got it. All right, we got our rainmaker. Thermionic fabricator. All right, this looks easy. We can do this, guys. Look, four gold. Four gold. All right, let's do this one. Four gold. What kind of casing is that? That's a sturdy casing. That's eight of these. Look at that. We got eight. Boom. Can we craft that thing right now? 
Nope, we need a chest. Okay. Well, we probably got a chest sitting right over here inside of one of these. Uh, yep, right there. I made plenty of them. There we go. We got it. Now, let's go ahead and let's craft our thermionic fabricator up. And we got it. Okay. And last but not least, our rain tank. All right. I need a little bit more. We need some iron. That's six pieces of iron. Let's grab that. Shove this up here. Sturdy casing. I got to make more of that. That's easy. Bada bang, bada boom. And while I'm over here, let's do this. And let's do this. Um, copper. Tin. Boom. Ah. All right. Um, put this in there. Ah. Put this in there. Put that in there. All right. Ah. What do we need now? For the rain tank. Ah. We have it. Boom. Rain tank made. Work table. A book. A chest. Ah. Okay. So we need a book. A crafting table. And a chest. Easy peasy. We got it. Now this one, let's just see if we can remember it. This, this, and a chest. Work table. <laughs> awesome sauce. And here's the rest of our stuff chilling right over here. So we can go ahead and pull this thing off of here. And I thinking, I don't know if I want to do another solar panel. Um, here's our other stuff like our centrifuge. We have an additional centrifuge over here. We can go ahead and scoop this thing up. We have this thing over here. Whoops, it's not what I wanted to put at. I got some more of these. This is over here. It's full of seed oil and it's making... It's making these impregnated sticks. These things, I'm taking the impregnated sticks and I'm going around this right here. This right here is what gives me my impregnated frames that I could use for my, that I could use for making, for our bees. What is up? Why won't this carpenter stack? Oh, because it, we, don't have one up there okay cool all right so what do you guys say we set all of these things down and let's have a good look at them all right so we got a bottler we got a centrifuge all right we already have a centrifuge sitting right there so let's scoop this one up we have a fermenter we have a moistener we have a carpenter. We have a squeezer. Butterfly, please move. Thank you. We have a still. We have a thermionic fabricator. We have a rain tank. And I'm willing to bet that our rainmaker goes right on top of that, like so and our work table boom our work table is basically the same exact thing as our other stuff so if we have a recipe and we want to put it inside of here let's say for example we want to craft a whole bunch of furnaces for example okay and we put these th ring right down here we can go ahead and we can do this and we can place that down there now this recipe is stored inside of here okay 
And now I can go ahead and say, well, I don't want furnaces no more. But I can go ahead and click on this and it'll automatically give me the recipe. And we can go ahead and keep crafting them if we want to. We can clear it and say, all right, we want something for over here. Well, we can do that. Now, this work table can be used for automatic crafting. So if I have a recipe for food that I want to be automatically crafting, I can just pipe something inside of it and have it pulled out and have that recipe automatically done. So if I want a whole bunch of these, which if I go ahead, let's hit R on this, okay? If I want pistachio butter, I mean, if I want peanut butter, bread, jelly, and a cutting board set inside of here, and I want those sandwiches made, I can program it inside of here, and this thing would automatically craft those things. We could pull those out and put them inside of a, uh, inside of a chest or anything of that sort. And I think that would work out pretty well. How this thing works is it's a rain tank. So the Rainmaker, I do believe you put this thing on. And I think this thing is redstone controlled possibly. Um, it collects rainwater. No rain. So if there's no rain, it will it'll gather rainwater. All right. And if you have a capsule in here, I'm willing to bet, no, not those. If, it, if there's a capsule or a bucket in here of some sort, it'll collect that and it'll put it inside of here. If we hit recipes, no, there's no recipes for this. It'll collect it. It'll put it in a bucket or whatever you have in there. The thermionic fabricator, this does have recipes. So we can see there's 34 different recipes inside of here. This will make fireproof logs, fireproof pine wood. A wax cast and it tells you what it requires to make this stuff and things so gray stained glass your propolis this is what you have to put over here for it probably smooth sandstone so it gives you all the recipes like this fireproof stuff and things fireproof white stained glass a wax cast is white powder in this you get that this is for fireproof. And this right here is like if we need copper electron tubes to craft something else up, we can do that. Um, I'm sure there's other stuff and things in here we can craft up. Like the ambrosia, this thing requires a wax capsule. I'm not sure if we want to make that. Honey slices, if I got honey drops. If you click on honey drops, it tells you you can get this stuff from like orange colored combs yellow colored and dripping combs okay it tells you what combs you can get this stuff from so as i be breed the bees up i can figure out which ones i need gotta learn what we need them from so this is just a regular honeycomb gives you honey drops that we could use pulsating propolis let's hit uses on that Pulsating mesh. Huh, not bad. Now if we want to craft one of these things up, let's just take a look at these. Bio generator. Mailbox. Trade station. Now the trade station, I'm not sure how that works. Okay, we might have to craft this thing up and see what it is. Alright, refined circuit board. All right, this is made inside the carpenter with water, and it gives you three electron tubes. Uh, well, it fits three electron tubes. So three redstone, some iron, and we can craft that thing up. It's complicated, but it's easy. I still show the recipes. Ethanol, okay, biomass into ethanol. Um, canola oil from Actually Additions. It'll cook that down, and it'll turn it to oil. Okay, so we could turn canola oil into oil. What is the uses for this? You can empower this canola in oil. Wait a second. Uses on this. Backspace. Show the recipes. Hit uses on this. Page two. 
oil bucket. This is for the turbine generator. You can use universal fluid cells from industrial craft. So basically added by actually additions, industrial craft two, jerry can for immersive engineering. So you get your oil for immersive engineering from actually additions. Not bad. Um, immersive engineering, chemical throwing, a fluid tank. Um, okay, so that's something we can look into as we get further on. You can store it inside of just about anything. Plastic tanks from Mine Factory Reloaded. <laughs> cool. Um, now remember, guys, I added Mine Factory Reloaded. It's not actually in the game. Um, oil buckets, jerry cans. This is from the bottler, so we can use the bottler for this. That's just the still itself. This right here is our squeezer. If we hit show recipes, um, you can see we got seed oil, seed oil, um, lapis lazuli seeds. Basically, all the seeds can be converted into stuff and things. If we use fruit, we, we put fruit in there, we can get fruit juice. Now that we can put inside of something and we can drink it. Like if we put glass bottles in there, we can get fruit juice that we can drink. Papaya, you can get fruit juice, 600 millibars off of that. So, wood, mineral, you get mineral resin for integrated dynamics. Not bad. And sometimes you get a second drop out of it as you move yourself along with it. So, if we take a quick look through this, see if you get a second drop out of anything. Apples will give you mulch plus apple juice. Um, dates will give you fruit date juice yuck carrots will give you carrot juice with mulch and so on and so forth seed oil for processing stuff and things looks like this right here is a walnut I don't know why we don't get nothing else out of walnuts but it just gives you seed oil and it produces quite a bit um, this right here, phosphor and red sand will produce lava for you. Okay, that's not bad. What was that? Canola oil will be... Okay, so we can make canola oil through the squeezer. And then we can process it. Um, honeydew will give you honey. And propolis. I didn't know that. So as you scroll through this, you get to learn things about what you can craft inside of here and what you can't. Snowball and ice shards will give you crushed ice. Cool. Um, phosphor and cobblestone. I don't even know how you get phosphor, so we can have a quick look into that here in just a moment. Cactus will give you water. You guys will see the different juices we can get. What produces more and what produces less. And the, this right here, the centrifuge, is a simmering comb. You get refact, three wax, and phosphor from this. So, like, here's your curvature mead. It doesn't tell you the recipe how you make it, but <coughs> I'm sure we can figure it out. Your carpenter, here's your bottler. Um, this thing will show you recipes for it. So if you show your recipes, like, here's your sap. Um, from Thermal Foundation. I'm not sure wh what this comes from, but eh, we can work on it. See what all it comes from this. And there's so many recipes. I don't. I don't even know what. <laughs> refined fuel, plant oil. Um, I don't even know what that would come from. Centrifuge. You guys have seen how that thing works. The fermenter. And the, th the fermenter, I think this thing, I don't know how it works. All right, so mushrooms, 
water mulch mushroom biomass okay biomass so this would be for the biomass engine so if we take the fermenter and we hook it up to the uh hook it up to the bio map the bio generator we could possibly produce enough rf for all of our machines that's something we could look into we take this thing down here, not the moistener, we take the fermenter and we hook it, we make a fermenter and we hook it up to a biomass engine and we have ourselves some fuel for all this stuff. It'll, it should work. It should be able to fuel itself. So this fermenter will be able to produce its own. Um, no fuel, no recipe, missing resources, missing liquid resources. Well, no really. Um, and... It needs water, it needs fruit juice, this one would need honey, and oak saplings, compost, or whatever, but you guys kind of get the point as how this works. Bioshaft. I'm guessing you need mulch or something for all this. And it just mostly just produces, what, biomass? What is this? Short mead. In the short mead, you could hook up to a bottler and you can drink that. That's your beer. <laughs> kind of cool. You can see what produces the most, like plant balls and all that stuff and things. And the moistener, which... The recipe that has one of three. So if I put moldy wheat, if I put wheat inside here, it'll turn into moldy wheat. Put cobblestone in there, it'll make us mossy stone. If I put decaying moldy wheat up here, it'll give me decaying wheat, and it'll come up here. Okay, so we'll get mulch out of it and cobblestone. It'll turn it into mossy stone. So basically wheat to moldy. From moldy wheat, it'll turn into decaying wheat. And what's the uses for this? And this this will turn into mulch. What is the uses for mulch? We look at this, we can make bog earth. From the bog earth, we can make automated tree farms. Which means, with the automated tree farms, we'll be able to get ourselves lots of wood without um, making... We'll have to work... It's a long process. I'm looking forward to this. I kind of really like forestry so far. I've seen people work with this in the past. It's a learning experience. And we, you guys can see we got a long road ahead of us on this. Um, I've learned something about the bees, as I said... Um, maybe we don't have to work out all the way out into the distance, but I still want to. Uh, we can build them an alviary and we can program that so we can kind of make them like tropical bees. We can have them grow right here. We don't have to make them go all the way out to a jungle, but I want to build all the way out to where all, all the biomes are. It's just me. It's the way I want to do things. I like to build the land. It might be a skyblock world, but... To me, I like to rebuild everything. But till next time, everybody, I'll see you on the flip side. Catch you later. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more episodes. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.